Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sisters. Today we're sharing with you three pumpkin recipes perfect for the fall time. So I'm Kristen. And I'm Camille. And today, you guys liked our other pumpkin video so much that we decided we'd share with you three more pumpkin recipes and they're coming at you. So our very first recipe we're making is pumpkin sheet cake. So this one is so good because <laughs> it feeds a ton of people yes. and I love making it for groups or parties or, yep. or just to eat right out I of the I even like to make this for Thanksgiving. <gasps> I'm a not a pie idea. lover, but all things pumpkin, yes. Good, so this is a good one. Okay, let's get cooking. So the first recipe we're making today is pumpkin sheet cake. So let's get going. Let's do our pumpkin first, if that's okay. Okay. I just like to put it on the bottom. It just makes my life, <laughs> just makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, so, so the whole can? Yep, 15 ounces. And this is pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. Yes. Okay. And because a Corona pumpkin is a little hard to find, so. Yeah. And fall time. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you want pumpkin right now, go grab it while it's still available. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we're just gonna add in four eggs. There we go. And then I'll let you add the others while I mix. Okay. So then we're going two, is this two cups of sugar? Two cups, yep. Yep. Now it sounds like a lot, but you got a lot of pumpkin in there, so yeah. you need some sweetness. And it's for a whole cake. Yes. So that's good. And then oil, we've just got one cup of vegetable oil yep. that we'll dump in there. Now you can put this in like your stand mixer, or, yeah. you know, but we're just doing it this way by hand because sometimes it's more fun that way. Right, we'll yeah. work out while you are go, getting ready. Go, go, So now we've got to add some seasonings to it. We are gonna do three teaspoons of cinnamon. So it seems like a lot, but remember this is a big cake. Yes. And then we're also gonna do one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So if you don't have pumpkin pie, pie spice, you can add in a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cloves. Um, if you Google how to make your own pumpkin spice, pie spice, it's super easy. Yes. Okay, and then we've gotta add in some baking powder, some baking soda. So let's yep. see, baking powder, I've got two teaspoons. Nice. And then baking soda, we've got one teaspoon. And then just a little bit of salt, one teaspoon of salt. Nice. Okay, mix that in. And then our last one is the flour. I'll pass oh. it to you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I'm so gonna mix. It's just two cups of flour, which may, means this is gonna be a really moist cake. Nice. Which is what I like. Yeah. Almost, almost like fudgy, kind yeah. of. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. I love like the dense, I don't know. Okay. It's just so good. Yes. All right, mixing this in. <laughs> you almost need a bigger bowl. I probably do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting flour all over you. Totally fine. Oop. And, and the myself, floor. and the floor, <laughs> and everything. Just gotta get those sides, there we go. That's how you know it's good. Maybe it's a sign I should use a mixer. It's fine. Okay. There okay, you go. break Looking your good. turn. Kay. Your turn. Kay. Muscles. Why are, you, why are you using your muscles? I am going to spray the pan with a nonstick cooking spray. You can butter it and flour it, but this is the lazy way, and I just love using pan. We were talking about before we started filming too, this is such a moist cake with a lot of, it's got the oil and the pumpkin, so it isn't going to be too sticky, so that's why you're okay to use Pam. Yeah. And then dump it in there. And dump that, I'll grab a spoon to help Thank get you. the edges. You got that okay? Yeah. We'll lick out the rest of that later. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll do that off camera. Yes. <laughs> okay, then I'm just gonna spread this around. It's not a very thick layer. No. But it will it cook will up. It will cook up. Yeah. Yep, it yeah. gets nice and puffy. And even it before I start spreading. How's it looking? You Perfect. Okay. Yep. You're okay. ready to bake. Yep. I feel good about it. Okay. Now that it's all spread and even, we're gonna cook it at 350 degrees for about what 20, 25 minutes. Yep. 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. okay. Perfect. 25 to 30. All right. So came out of the oven. We let it cool for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. You don't want it really, really hot because your <laughs> frosting will melt. So you want it to cool pretty much all the way. Yeah. So now we're gonna make our delicious cream cheese frosting that will go on top, which this is what makes the recipe 
Amazing. You're a frosting. I girl. also love frosting. Yes. She Might does. be my favorite food. Yep. But okay, let's let's <laughs> let's make some frosting. All right. So we're gonna start with a, a cup of butter or two sticks of butter. They're at least room temperature, maybe a little bit softer. Yes. So start with that. Okay. And you have a whole block or eight ounces of cream cheese. It is softened a little bit in there. Okay. There we go. Start mixing that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Now you don't want it melted because you want it a little bit thicker frosting. So as you are mixing that, I'm yep. gonna add in your um, vanilla. So like what? One teaspoon of vanilla? Two, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Mm, I love vanilla. Okay. And then as you're mixing that, we'll just slowly add in powdered add in sugar. sugar. So it's about three cups. So we'll just slowly add it. Okay, it is really thick. So we're just gonna add just a little bit of milk just to thin it out just a little bit. So I don't know, like fourth a cup or so? Yeah, two okay. tablespoons and then just kind of play with it, see what you need. Kristen, do you want a beater? Yeah, you want me to lick that off for you? <laughs> uh, when I cook it myself, I leave a ton of frosting on the beaters so I can <laughs> lick it. Mm -hmm. Her mom always used to let us lick the beaters. I know, it was my favorite. There we go. Gotta hit, hit the frosting off. <laughs> All right, as she goes and washes those, I'm gonna start putting the frosting on. Looks good, Kate. Oh man. <laughs> it's all Kristen it's, can do to I not know. lick this right now. Lick it, lick it. No, I'm fine. Okay, we are done with this one. We are gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so our next recipe is pumpkin pie milkshakes. And we're gonna just make a single serving. You can double this or triple it or quadruple it for as many people as you need to serve. But yep. we'll show you how to make it for one. So we're gonna start with a quarter cup of pump, uh, pumpkin puree. Nice. I love this because if you just have a little bit left over, yeah. this is a perfect recipe. This is like. a really good recipe. Exactly. Okay. So usually we'll double, like usually it's a third of a cup, but because we're just making it one, it's like one sixth of a cup of yeah. milk. Just a little bit of milk. A little bit. And then we've got a half teaspoon of cinnamon. And then a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And then we're gonna throw in about a cup of vanilla ice cream. So, whoa. whoa. Just a couple scoops. Good? Good. Okay. Okay, now this is like my favorite thing in the world. This is why I wanted to show you a single serving too, because it is just the best little blender and I love it so much and it blends better than all my other blenders. So, and I have a lot of blenders. There we go. So, Ninja, Ninja single serving. I'll put it, uh, down below in the description for you guys if you are interested, because it will just blend it awesome. Ready? Here we go. All right. Good enough. Nice. Okay. 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 So then, you just get it opened up. Oh, man, it's perfect. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I know, I love it, right? Wanna try it? Yes. All right. Do you need whipped cream on top? Yes, I do. Are you ready? Yeah, put it on my soup. I will. <laughs> How is it? It literally tastes like pumpkin pie. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs> cool. Me too. That's like a cold pumpkin pie. It's so good. That Which is so the way good. I prefer it. So. Me too. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, well this one is done. You guys are gonna love it. Let's, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. <laughs> All right, the last recipe we're making is our pumpkin chocolate chip bread. Now our mom makes this bread all the time. I think all year <laughs> round too. She always makes it in these little small loaf pans and then goes and delivers it to all her friends. So we thought we'd share this with you because yeah, it's the best it pumpkin so recipe. So, all right, okay. are you ready? We got a lot of ingredients. Let's do got this. A lot of ingredients, but most of things that you have. So here we go. We'll dive in. We'll start with one can of pumpkin puree. So it's a 15 ounce can. I'm gonna use the whole thing. Nice. While you're dumping that in, I'll dump in the sugars. Okay. So three fourths cup of white sugar, three fourths cup of brown sugar. There you go. Okay. 
cream that together. Cream that together. While you're creaming, I'm gonna add your eggs too, so it'll make Perfect. it a little easier. So just three eggs here. And then half a cup of oil. While you're mixing, I'll just add it for Perfect. you. Perfect. So while you're mixing that up, I'm gonna just add a half a cup of sour cream. And I am gonna just kind of eyeball this a little bit. You can measure it. Those of you who love to measure, that's great. <laughs> Okay. So we're gonna continue with our liquid stuff. So we got about two tablespoons of orange juice. I love orange juice. It's Me kind too. of a funny thing in this recipe, right? I thought it, it was so good. strange, but the citrus is good. Right. And then we're just gonna add about a half a tablespoon of molasses. And I love molasses. Yeah, too. It's the best so smell. Good. And we added a little bit more because we knew this was gonna happen. It's gonna stick to the sides, yep. so we'll get out about a half a tablespoon or so. All right, next we're just gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, is that all our liquid stuff? Yep. Okay, looks good. Now we're getting into the all the dry. So we have half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Dump that in. Half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Which is the best smell. I know. It's like Christmas blossom. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then just two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay. So then we have one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then just a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Whew. Got all the little spices. Done, done. Now the last part is the flour. Yep. We're just gonna dump in three cups of white flour. There you go. Good Beautiful. luck mixing. Probably need All a right. bigger bowl. Mm -hmm. No, this is perfect. Just, just fold it in. While you're folding, I'll just nibble on the chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add about two cups of chocolate chips. Now, I am gonna use a little bit more than two cups. We have another bag here because you. I I love to top it with chocolate. Lots of chocolate chips on top <laughs> because that way every bite you get a lot of chocolate. <laughs> I'm a purist. I like it plain. <laughs> what, really? I do, I love pumpkin bread with no chocolate chips. <gasps> a purist, that's what I'm gonna, gonna call go with the purist. Now. Purest way. Okay. Oh, it looks good. It's ready. Yes. We're gonna cook it a few different ways. Yep. Now, I've made this lots of different ways. So you can cook it in a loaf pan. It will make two loaf pans. Yes. Or it will make six mini loaf pans. Or it will make 24 kind of big muffins. Yeah, big muffins. Big muffins. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I like to switch it up a little bit. So yep. we're gonna do a loaf pan and then three mini loaf pans. So you spray it really good, because, yeah, we don't want it to stick. You That's could also worst. like grease and flour it if you feel yes like it. Whatever you want to do. Yes. I'm gonna slowly start putting it in. So I'm gonna do just half the half of the batter. Okay, that's about half. Okay. Yeah. What do you yep. think? Yep. Perfect. And now these three little ones. Okay. So we're gonna cook these at 350. The yep. little ones are gonna cook for like 40 minutes. Yeah and not, not much longer. Big one will cook for 40 minutes, then you're gonna cover it and cook for another 10 to 15. Just watch it. You just wanna make sure it's not burning, Yeah, but you don't want it jiggly in the middle. I made the muffins yesterday, and it only takes about 20 minutes for the muffins to be done. So I'll just take those out, the muffins, so they don't burn. So, okay, let's, should we stick these in the oven? Yep, let's do it. All right, guys, I hope you love these pumpkin recipes. Now, if you wanna check out our other three pumpkin recipes, you can find those right over there. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.